Welcome to Become a Love Goddess. Today we are activating the heart chakra to elevate your compassion. And we will be working with the goddess archetype, Mary Magdalene. Just a side note that her presence and her archetype and her essence is not connected to any religion. She is an archetype that represents and embodies compassion and living from the heart. So to get started, we're going to simply close our eyes and go inward. This is a journey, what I would call the true love quest. True love embodies, encompasses, and includes love for the self, love for others, and love for life and the universe and all living things. To elevate your compassion, we need to look at the layers of the heart and how capable the heart is of being loving. This is what I would define as true love. Mary Magdalene will be coming forward with nuances and information today and this is the first definition that I'm getting from her on what is true love and what is compassion. Compassion is not simply being nice. Being nice is a lacking energy that is people pleasing and will actually counteract what you are intending to do. When you are only nice to others and not nice to yourself you are not elevating your compassion. Your compassion does not include loving yourself and therefore it is incomplete. Being loving and being kind is not always seen as being nice. Nice is a weaker energy that gives in to all those around you and leaves yourself out. If you've ever felt like an outsider, perhaps this is the root cause that you are not elevating your compassion to include yourself, that you are trying to be nice rather than being kind and being compassionate to yourself and everyone around you. Being compassionate means saying no. Being compassionate means not allowing others to invade your space having boundaries, having a sense of self, doing what you truly want to do. This is compassionate. So Mary Magdalene is saying, we are here to dissolve all of those feelings of guilt, of feeling less than, of not feeling deserving of having what you truly want. To elevate your compassion, you need to connect to your heart's desires and be okay with them. Elevating your compassion means accepting what you desire, allowing yourself to have it and going towards it, no matter what others may be saying, thinking or feeling around you. Elevating your compassion is essentially doing what you came here to do and claiming your birthright which is to have a life you desire, to feel loved, to feel supported, to feel cherished for who you are, not a version that you feel is acceptable. Being compassionate does not include people pleasing. And yet the contradiction is that we also need to be compassionate towards ourselves when we are people pleasing. If you fall into a pattern of wanting to please others above yourself in order to feel loved and included and feel safe, it is okay. You can forgive yourself for that. You can be okay with that and you can accept that. Moving up to the next level to elevate your compassion always starts with forgiving and being okay with what you have done, felt, or said along the path of life in order to get your needs met. This is all a path of getting the needs met. So a true love quest can look like 
an adventure towards finally getting your needs met in a way that is healthy, that is wholesome, that is inclusive, that is loving to yourself. And I know that we want to be good people. We want to be loving people. We want to change the world. We want to help others. We want to offer our love and support. And yet, if we make this our number one priority, we are leaving ourselves out of the adventure. And this is not compassionate. So you may start feeling things in the chest. You may feel the energetic heart opening like a a flower, seeing the petals unfold and blossom and bloom in your chest. You may feel a relief like an exhale. You may visualize or feel or sense the presence of Mary Magdalene in your heart, in the center of your chest, which is your energetic heart chakra. You may see her now with her rose petals. Throwing petals at your feet to honor you, to tell you how important you are, to tell you how much you matter in this world, to treat you like the goddess you are. Throwing rose petals and bowing at your feet in the ultimate sign of respect. This is not about empowering others or being disempowered. When she kneels before you, she is showing you that you are worthy of being cherished, of being adored, of being loved. She is offering this beautiful symbol of the love that she has for you. You may feel it swirling in your heart and opening and nourishing the parts of you that feel like a dried up plant, that feel like a withering flower. She is giving you nourishment to allow you to feel nourished, to feel the potential, the potential of your heart opening, the potential of your essence flowering, blooming, and sharing your essence and your perfume with the world. Your unique signature is your scent, your essence. And you may feel yourself expanding now in the heart chakra, the front of the heart, the back of the heart, which is the upper back. Both are opening and blossoming to allow the energy to flow through you. The energy of rose petals, which is unconditional love. The scent of roses is Mary Magdalene's calling card. If you've ever felt or smelt a beautiful rose, a red rose that is so deep, deeply maroon colored, a deep red, then you have felt her presence. You are in her presence. As we name these symbols and the way she shows up, you may feel her releasing, allowing you to let go of anything that is in your heart that is getting in the way of you being kind to yourself, compassionate to yourself, honoring yourself, allowing who you are to come forward and be seen. You may see it as a releasing. I'm seeing buckets of heaviness being released into the earth and pouring out of the heart chakra straight into Mother Earth where she takes these offerings and transforms them into beautiful soil and compost for the cycle of life. You can willingly and freely and happily release all of this compost 
that is no, no, no longer needed within the heart space. You may see your chest opening and blossoming and opening and blossoming and opening and blossoming. You may see the colors. Mary Magdalene is representing a deep red and the heart chakra is a pink or a green, emerald green or a beautiful pink. All of these are the shades of love and compassion that we are opening up and activating today that Mary Magdalene is helping you to blossom and unfold within your energetic heart, within your system to embrace and elevate your compassion, to be able to see the world as it is, to accept the world as it is, to accept yourself as you are, to accept others as they are, and to realize that in this acceptance is compassion. If you can have the full acceptance of the way things are, you can elevate your compassion you no longer need to save anyone. You no longer need to heal or change yourself. You no longer need to control others. You can let it all go and be. Let things be as they are. This is true compassion. This is observation of the world. And then from this space, you can pour this outpouring of love, this unconditional love, pouring it out of your heart space from front to back, all around you in this beautiful circle of love, expanding this circular essence, this presence of you and your love and compassion, expanding it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. You may see this beautiful circle of life, of love, of compassion radiating from you, the center of your chest and filling your entire body, filling your entire space, your energetic field, filling the entire room with this beautiful soothing energy and expanding it even more, elevating your compassion to the size of the city that you're in the country that you're in, the world that we're in, the universe that we're in, and beyond into infinity and beyond and beyond and beyond and beyond. This love, this compassion is endless and yet it comes back to you so the more you can express and emit this beautiful energy the more strongly it will come back to you, flow through you and out again into the world and coming back and out and back in again. It is an endless cycle that never tires. There is no effort, no output needed, just an allowing and accepting, being open to the vessel of love that you are and allowing yourself to expand and be this beautiful vessel. Now coming back slightly and tuning in to see if there is a message from Mary Magdalene. To have a beautiful, energetic conversation with her, to see if there is a symbol, a color, a feeling, a message, an animal, a memory, an image that she brings forward as an offering. Your own special symbol that you can use in your day-to-day -day life as you are walking around, living your life, knowing that you are fully connected to her and to your heart and to unconditional love at all times in all situations being able to call upon this elevated compassion in any situation in any given moment whether small or complex or seemingly overwhelming you are present and able to respond and 
outpour this loving compassion into yourself and out into the world and back to yourself and out into the world filling yourself and overflowing into the world and back into you knowing there is an infinite supply there is no need to search or look for yourself outwards look for approval or love or compassion from others you are the source of this compassion and you are able to fill yourself up with it and pour it out into the world and both are happening at the same time you are never depleted you are never without this constant pouring of love and compassion so taking a moment to feel into your chest the center of your chest your energetic heart to feel the beating heart within you of this energetic essence this activation today this feeling of exhaling this expanding this elevating this beautiful freedom this beautiful opening that is here for you and taking a moment to thank Mary Magdalene for being present today for bringing her beautiful essence for bringing her flowers for bringing her scent her perfume and for having her endless outpouring of compassion for you and the world and others and so it is amen taking a moment to come back into the room and feeling a sense of peace and calm and elevation in the heart and jotting down any messages any symbols that have come to you to take with you and use to call upon her at any moment in any given situation merely to feel that connection to her again or to call upon her if you need the support if you need the reminder of who you truly are thank you so much for being with me today download insight timer to skip the ads and enjoy meditation for free